Hello Java developers, my name is Matt Rabel. Today I'd like to show you how to build a secure REST API and native image with Micronaut. Let's giddy up! I created a demo script for this screencast that you can find in the description below along with a link to the blog post and a full table of contents so you can skip around and see how everything works in this video. And so it is written in ASCII Doctor, so I have a nice little plugin here that I can use to get a nice little view. We're just going to build, you know, a REST API, secure it with OAuth 2, and then access it with a JWT, and then we'll build the native image and make sure all that works fine. And if there's any code that I, you know, type a few characters and all of a sudden it spits out a bunch, those are my IntelliJ Live Templates, which you can find at MRABEL IDEA Live Templates. And so you will need a few prerequisites. Had those up here. SDK man, which you can get from sdkman.io. So I already have that installed. And then HTTP, that you can uh, get from httpi.org. And also the Okta CLI, which I have 0 0.10. You can get that from cli.okta.com. And you'll need GraalVM Java 17 version. So I have this shortcut here to install that. I already have it installed, and if I were to run you know, Java version, there you go, it proves that it's all installed. And so the first thing you'll want to do is generate an OAuth 2 access token so we can talk to this API. So the Okta CLI makes that easy. Okta apps create spa, and we'll do OIDC debugger as the name. And we're going to do OIDC debugger slash debug as the redirect URI. The logout one is just fine there. And that'll create a new application for us. And if we were to go to the OpenIDC debugger website, we can put this on the right. You'll see it already populated, you know, my org information in there. That's because I did this before. But you'll need to tack on v1 authorize. That's right over here. It tells you to do that. And then make sure and put your client ID in there and select code and use Pixie and make sure v1 token is down here in the token URI and then click send request and then it does a proof key for code exchange and uh, does secure OAuth dance in the browser with authorization code flow and gives us that access token so now we can close that and go ahead and set that access token in our terminal and then we can get to building a Micronaut Java REST API so SDK install Micronaut we already have 343 there and then we can use MN create app and give it your package name, com octa rest app. And we're going to use Maven since we use Maven with the others. And then security dash JWT as a feature and micronaut AOT as a feature. And then we're just going to move it from app to micronaut, then CD into it and open it up in IntelliJ. And then here's one of my shortcuts MN hello. You can see that gives us a hello controller at the slash hello endpoint. Uh, it takes a get request and it is secured and it'll return the principal's name. So now we need to configure Okta in application YAML. So we'll just copy and paste this in there right under security here and get our Okta domain. Where did we have that? We had it back in our terminal and replace this. Okay, so we have the issuer, we have the signatures there, and then we can start up our app. MN run. Then you can see it started up in 283 milliseconds. That time will vary if we try it again. It might be faster this time. It just kind of depends. I mean, we're running on the JVM, so you know, even starting up in 280 milliseconds is pretty awesome. And then we can hit it with HTTP IE. We can recall that token we set and then try HTTP with that token. And now it works. It lets us in and it prints out our email there. And so now we can build a native app. So we're going to exit out of this one and control C on that one and go ahead and use Maven clean package packaging native image. And so you might be wondering why did you, you know, use clean there? Well, there's a bug in uh, Micronaut 343 that requires you to do that after you've run it. And so I believe that'll be fixed in, you know, 344. So just something to be aware of. So you can see that took about a minute to complete, 58 seconds there. If we wanted to start it up, we could do target app. 
and 164, which is a little long for a native app. Oh, 16 milliseconds, 16, 16. So that seems to be about the average there. And uh, just to do some startup time comparisons here, this is, you know, comparing with other frameworks. What I found on a MacBook Pro Intel version, so top of the line when they used to make Intel or the old Intel line, which was, uh, I think, 2019, and it's uh, 64 gigs of RAM, you know, pretty nice beefy machine. Uh, it'll start up in about 28 milliseconds. You compare that to Quarkus, which is a bit faster, but, you know, it's twice as fast as uh, Spring Boot and you know, certainly faster than Heladon, about 25% faster. And so that's just a comparison there. And then for memory used after it starts up, you'll see uh, 31 megs, which is awesome for a Java app, right? And then after five requests, it's up to 56. So, uh, you know, you get most of that increase just after the first one. Here's the command I used to see how much memory they're using. Not quite as fast as Corcus or as much, you know, less memory used, but certainly the second, right? And very good there. And you, I encourage you to, you know, clone the repo here native Java examples if you want to test them all out. They're all available right there and there's instructions in the readme for how to do it. And I also did it on the MacBook Pro M1 Max, which I'm using right now. Uh, the apps start up twice as fast, uh, but they do use some more memory, so I'm not sure why that is, but you know, milliseconds to start. For Micronaut, 17 milliseconds. And you saw, right, in my examples, what were we doing in, uh, you know, 13 or something like that, 16. So that's about around there. And then, you know, megabytes used on start versus after five requests. So we've also built this into the Okta CLI. So now if you were to go to, you know, something like downloads, there's nothing in here. You can do Okta start Micronaut, and it'll actually download and configure a Micronaut app for you. And we keep this example up to date so you can use it whenever you want. So you can find this example code on native Java examples in the Micronaut directory. And of course, there's the blog post about building native Java apps. So I hope you've enjoyed this screencast. You can find me on Twitter at mrabel. You can find my team on Twitter at octadev. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Smash that button so you can get notified when there's more new content like this. Cheers. Have a great day.